Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, one of the first superstars to ever headline the Superdome events in New Orleans, Louisiana, against King Kong Bundy in a tape fist match. Now, this match can be decided either by pinfall or a knockout. And of course, Dusty Rhodes, as I said, has been a superstar the world over, an international star, and has headlined many Superdomes until the Superdome almost became the junkyard dog yard as that man has hit the heights of superstardom in the wrestling circles. And of course, many times a match that is brought here as the promoters of Mid-South try to get the best events for the fans in the Superdome are matches that are situations that have happened other places that it can be capitalized on. And on June 24th in Houston, Texas, Dusty Rhodes was in a bull rope match, the most dangerous match that he devised against Nick Bockwinkle, the AWA champion. He won that bout against Bockwinkle with bull rope. But King Kong Bundy, who Bockwinkle had hired as an assassin type individual, came in with a taped, his arm taped all the way to the elbow and really beat up Dusty Rhodes. And Dusty Rhodes said, if that's the way you want it, that's the way you have it. Get me a match with him anywhere you can. Tape fists. And Grizzly Smith, matchmaker supreme, saw the Superdome coming up and quickly signed contracts to that effect. And King Kong Bundy, in the toughest test of his career, as he's used his 420 pounds of mass to overcome many opponents, is in a brawl here in the Louisiana Superdome in front of 21,000 fans. And Bundy belaboring Dusty Rhodes, the American dream. Dusty, 300 pounds from Austin, Texas. Former football, baseball star, West Texas State University. The son of a plumber. A man who in 1974 in Florida became known as the American dream. And his legend and his prowess has transpired and, and grown throughout the United States. A man with a lot of heart, a lot of soul. Bundy, a massive, ponderous, pummeling, an individual that just, you know, when you've got that much mass, 420 pounds, you can absorb a tremendous amount of punishment. And he's got dusty roads and a lot of pain right now, as you can see the crimson mask. Photographer Greg Soley lets us vicariously enter that ring at close up. Again, this match can be decided by knockout or pinfall. The Dream fighting back, pulling it up, hitting with the elbow. Measuring Bundy. He caught Bundy up on the head with a shot. And these tape fists, the those of you that don't know in boxing, the reason they tape their fist under the gloves is to protect their own fist. The human can hit with his strength of his arm and body harder than the bone structure in the fists can withstand. Therefore, by being able to tape them, you can deliver a harder blow without suffering the broken hand. Otherwise, you have to use the forearm because the forearm is the only thing that can withstand the power and not break itself. So by taping their fists, this makes this match that much more of a rugged survival battle. And as you can see, both men crimson mask at this point because the blows to the head with the fist taped naturally increase the cutting power of the fist. And the dream is doing his thing. He's walking tall. He's striding because he's got Bundy down. And Big Bundy's having to right now check into his intestinal fortitude and see if he's going to make dream up on top. This is a no disqualification type match. And he senses the time to deliver the coup de grace to big King Kong Bundy and triumph once again in the Louisiana Superdome as he has done so many times in the past as he comes off 300 pounds, hits 420 pounds, and it takes a 240-pound referee right through the rope, just like being strained through a grater. Ted DiBiase comes in, and Ted DiBiase, as you can see, had taped up some type of foreign object and gone for it to the Dream, but the Dream intercepted it. However, Bundy has scooped it up, as we saw, and is now putting it on his fist, and the Dream not aware of it, and Bundy caught him coming in right on the jaw with that 420-pound body connected to that number eight size ham, and the Dream is down. It's no disqualification. Now the referee, Rick Farrar, delivering the count. Four. Counting either man, whichever man gets to his feet could be the winner of this bout. And the dream is really cold cocked. And there we can see Dusty Rhodes, the victim, 
of Ted DiBiase, the big cheese is coming to the aid of King Kong Bundy, and Bundy will go down in history as the winner of the tape fist bout in the Louisiana Superdome July 16th, 1983. The big King Kong Bundy was a victor in that exciting battle, and we have more of the same, and we're going to show you some more of it. We hope you'll stay with us because it's coming up right after this important message from Mid-South Racing Television Network. 